big guy that you were looking for? Well, there's a lot of things in the hopper, I can tell you that. There's a lot of different, uh, a lot of different things we were looking at. And, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, ideally it would have been nice to be able to pull off a trade that really would have helped the team pretty much immediately. But when else kind of fell through, then we did, we took the players that we felt were best uh, there. Um, and we're really happy with the draft. And so I'm not really, dis you know, I, am I disappointed in the few trades that, that I was excited that we might be able to do. But then when they fell through, it, it, you, you move on and, and we drafted. I thought we had a really good night on the, on, on, on the draft. Are you, are you under the person that it's all been at the stage that there's still maybe some wiggle room for you guys to make some moves later on? Well, you know, honestly, right now, um, it, it, there was, you know, things were just drying up, as it usually does, you know, and then, you know, maybe down the road something would get resurrected again, but um, as of right now, I would say that, uh, you know, we're going to move forward with uh, with the team, and now, you know, free agency starts in July, and we're going to have to add some pieces through that, but uh, again, like I said, you know, at the, at the end of the at the end of the 18th pick, I, I we got three players that we really like, and, uh, and three players that we, you know, we can all uh, now to play in the NBA, to do very well in the NBA. Kevin, yeah, with uh, uh, presuming you keep these three picks all the way to camp, what challenge is that for you now with such a young, such a young roster? Yeah, that's why I'm saying you know, a couple of the trades we had some veteran guys coming in and stuff. It's going to be a challenge. There's no question. You know, um, yeah, young guys at the NBA historically is not kind to of young guys. It's just, it's just, it's just there's such a learning, um, uh, learning curve. And it's so hard to explain to people. Like I tell people, now granted I played in the dark ages, but that was a long time ago. But you know, the jump from college to high school, or high school to college, was like this. You know, the jump, the jump was just ten times. I tell people it's ten times, twenty times the jump. They just, they, you know, it, I, I can't even explain what a big jump it is. So it, it, it's kind of getting over that. And every once in a while, you'll have a guy like a Chandler Parsons that'll come in and, and really surprise you and stuff. But that's a big jump, and it's a, it's a big. It, it, there's a lot of um, a lot of hurdles, and there's a lot of stuff for the you know, for the guys to get over to get comfortable to be on the NBA floor. So it's that you know it's, it's that time you spend getting them comfortable that sometimes is painful. Kevin, does this kind of put you guys in a rebuilding mode at all? Well, you know, again, hey, look at it. You know, we're we're, we're Got free agency coming up, and you know, yeah, we're young. There's no question about it. We're a young team, and yeah, I don't know, rebuilding. I wouldn't say that. Our goal is to make the playoffs. We got to find a way to do it. It's gonna you know, be a challenge. I can tell you that. But we got to go out there. We got to find a way. I mean, I said the same thing last year um, when we got assembled in December. I said our goal is, and we fell short last year. So now we're gonna have to find a way to, um, you know, put all the pieces together. <coughs> there's gonna be a bless you. Uh, there's going to be, a, you know, a, a stockpile of different, you know, a couple of spots, and let them fight it out, and um, you know, see, see who's going to be on the floor. But it'll be, it'll be a bit of a challenge, no question. What do you guys do in the middle of this point? I mean, I see it's kind of be, you know, a major hole for you at this point. Yeah. Let's figure out what we're going to do there in that spot. We have a, we have to play a little smaller and play a little bit different, run a little bit more. I mean. Well, again, you know, we'll have to see what what, what happens. I, I I think the basic core of our team is definitely here. You know, I mean, this is going to be the majority of our team. Can we add a piece? Can we do something? But and there's no question. I mean, I, I, I think that that'll be a that'll be a um, uh, something that we have to address, um, and we will. Um, but uh, hey, we just play smaller, just get up and down and run. And, you mentioned liking the specific picks, but that gives you a lot of forwards, threes and fours that it's going to be kind of hard to sort through that many. I mean, how do you feel about that in this stage? Well, they sort through themselves. I mean, you throw the ball out there, and people will. They're very seldom do you just go out there and boy, they're all the same. I mean, you have guys rise up, so guys all play each other, guys stand out, and you know that that's going to be kind of the challenge. And the challenge for them is this, we're going to be really competitive. And I agree with you. You know, there's, we have a bunch of fours, and uh, now. You know, the, the guys who are going to play are going to have to fight for their time, and uh, um, I'm sure there'll be, you know, many times we'll play, you know, at the four and five, we'll play two fours, and a lot of the guys that burst enough, maybe we've played three fours across the front, you know, and, and uh, um, so we'll, I, again, you know, there, there's some challenges that we have, we're going to figure all that out, and I know one thing, the league is not going to worry about what, you know, what us figuring it out, it's up to us to figure it out, it's up to us to put the best team we can out there. 
And it's, you know, us, it's up to us to, and up to me to find a way to get to win basketball games. That's what you're here for, is to win. And we'll do that. We'll figure out a way to make it all work. And again, a lot of that stuff gets started up. When you throw one ball out there, and you know, ten guys practicing, people, you know, people rise up and people fall down. So we'll, you know, we'll play the guys that rise up. What's you intriguing try? about what these three guys bring that either enable you to play differently or faster or better than what you have had? Well, I, I mean, they're different. I mean, every time you add pieces, you, your team changes somewhat. I think uh, and Jeremy Lamb is a guy that can score the ball. He's uh, uh, long. You, you look. I mean, you look at what he was able to do with his, with that run through the NCAA's a couple of years ago with UConn. Uh, big baskets at big times. Rose up, and made big shots. Um, so I like his ability to score the ball. Now he's, you know, like like all young guys, especially young thin guys. He's going to have to learn how to use his body, you know, protect himself against bigger guys coming at him, use his length, uh, become, you know, become a, a better defender as they all have to get, especially the young skinny guys. They have to learn how to position and use his length and stuff. Um, so he, he brings a scoring and a, you know, and a, and a running um, that I like. You know, White is really unique. I mean, he's kind of a, hard to describe him. He's kind of a point forward. He's a guy who handles the ball, a pass first guy. Um, he's a spread four who attacks. You know, he's like he's pretty, he's, you know, most spread four you think shoot, catch and shoot. He's a spread four. He throws to him, he attacks off the dribble, he gets the dribble hand off. He's a good decision maker. You know, every defensive rebound he gets, he should just turn and go up the floor. Everybody run with him. He'll find the open guys. And then um, uh, Terrence Jones is just, you know, like, I, we were, I was surprised he was there at 18. Honestly, he's, you know, he, he's played on a, you know, a fantastic. Fantastic college team and was able to blend his skills in. So I'm really convinced that he's going to be able to blend in and, and, and do what he does. You know, a lot of times uh, for players, it's hard coming to the NBA because all of a sudden you're on the floor with um, other better players. You got to share the space, you got to share the ball, you got to share a lot of stuff. He's pretty used to sharing on that Kentucky team, so I think he'll fit right in there. So again, I like um, I like all three of the guys uh, a lot. And so how do they make us different? We got a power forward that can dribble the length of the court and make plays. Got another shooter in, in Lamb that can make shots. And just have a really good all around defensive minded guy who played, who blended in and played on a really good college team uh, coming to our team. So now they're going to have to blend their skills in and with what we have. Your voice in particular uh, has, a, has, some has some history. Uh, Checkered Pass, he was very gracious about that you guys had selected him. What was the process in scouting him when you worked him out? Uh, you know, sat down with him in Chicago and talked to him and he's very upfront about his past. And, uh, um, doesn't hide away from, doesn't, doesn't shy away from telling you. He made a lot of mistakes, you know, as a young kid. Um, I think probably the biggest thing for me uh, was talking to a guy I coached and a guy I worked with, Fred Hoiberg, who was the coach at Iowa State. And um, you know, Freddie just said, "Hey, Kevin, the guy is uh, um, a guy who really knows how to play, makes his teammates better. He's really a a guy who you know wants to be part of something special, wants to be part of a team. And um, you know, hey, hey these are, this is what he, this is the issues he had. This is how he was for me. Um, this is kind of how we got the most out of him. And you know, and, and he really laid out a, a plan. And, and a lot of what he said." Um, is stuff that I really believe in. I mean, you know, spending time with kids, getting him comfortable. He has the ball in his hand, trying to be unique in how you play him and stuff. So, I think my relationship with Fred, uh, being a real good friend of mine, uh, helped a lot. Just because it wasn't, I, I knew, you know, there's no, no baloney in that. <coughs> Fred was just giving me the, the straight scoop. Time for one more. Do your fair flying issues cause any problems at all for you there on the flight? Well, I hope not. I guess we'll find out. Uh, you know, <laughs> I guess if you can't fly, it really limits the amount of games you can get to. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.